Hey, this is Charles Moore with the Lamb Beside the Water Group at Keller Williams Seneca. Today, I'm at own location. You probably can't guess where I am. I'm at the QE Fire Department. I'm here with the Chief, Brandon Shirley. How you doing, Brandon? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Listen, y'all got an awesome place here. Oh, thanks. It's, it's beautiful. And of course, the big red trucks. Who doesn't like the big red trucks, right? For all big kids. Absolutely. Listen, I heard y'all got something coming up for the holidays, and I don't want to spill the beans, but I'll let you do that, Chief. Man, we are so excited. You know, Santa Claus, this time of year, Christmas, it is really hard to get that dude. He is booked up everywhere. So we started a year out wow. working with his calendar, and we're going to have him here at the fire department, November the 30th, Saturday, November the 30th, from 11 to 2, and he is going to be here making pictures with kids, getting Christmas lists from the adults. And so it doesn't matter, kid, adult, grandparent, you can come out, you can sit on Santa's lap, you can give him the Christmas list, you can, he can, you know, he's going to check the naughty and list, and if you're on it, then, then I guess yeah. you get cold. But so I guess I'll be by my own gift, because there's <laughs> once or twice this year I might be on that naughty list, right? Yeah, so we're very fortunate to have he and, and, He's bringing his wife, Mrs. Claus, and and she keeps him straight, but she she's the one that, that really steals the show. Man, that is awesome. We're so lucky to have Santa coming to Kiwi. Yep. I mean, that is that is amazing. You know, besides that, I noticed some things when I walked in the door, okay, that's still Christmas related, that you guys might be collecting some stuff. So if somebody's coming to see Santa, they can bring some stuff here. But who are you guys collecting for outside of Santa? So we do, um, we do, we collect shoe boxes, Operation Christmas Child. Mm -hmm. We do uh, Toys for Tots, the, the Marine Corps to Toys for Tots program. We uh, we also collect all year long. We collect things for the Tomasi DAR store, sure. for their thrift store, and um, we just become a drop off point for several different organizations. Sometime, probably the end of November, first of December, will also become a drop off point for a food bank for the Salem area and the Salem Fire Department runs that. They come down here and sure. collect up food. So. so in other words, all in one day, we can do a lot here at the Kiwi Fire Department. We can see Santa, okay, see Santa, bring the kids, Toys for Tots, Operation Christmas Child, DAR School, and a food bank all at one time. Absolutely, absolutely. It gives a great opportunity for people to one-stop shop, come get a, a photo made with Santa, We'll email those photos to you so you have them to, to email out to grandparents or to other people. And then you can drop off your canned goods. You can drop off an extra toy, a shoebox or whatever. And it's a great place to just to do it all at one time. Well, Chief, I appreciate you taking some time with us today talking about Santa. I've got to ask you, I'm in this nice facility. I see these nice clean trucks. What can we as a community do to help you guys that serve our community in the fire service south? I mean, is there anything we can do to... Fire safety or anything, what, what can we do? Man, the biggest things around this time of the year is, is one thing is cooking safety. We talk about that a lot. You know, you're frying turkeys, you're out there uh, cooking things for Thanksgiving, cooking things for Christmas. Be aware of that. Smoke detectors, make sure you're changing your batteries. Make sure you have working smoke detectors. If you don't have one, stop by your local fire department, whether it's here or one of the other stations, and, and those guys will help you out and get a smoke detector. We're a, we're, a, we're a fairly busy station. We're turning about 660 calls a year. We're running medical fire. And uh, we're a 24 hour day, seven day operation. So our staff's here all the time. So if we can help, uh, people stop by and we're here to help. So. Well, listen, I appreciate it. And of course, obvious phone number, if you have an emergency situation is 911, but let's hope we don't have to use that. Right? Absolutely. Well, Brandon, I appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thank you for letting the public know what you guys are doing here as far as with Santa collecting toys for tots, Operation Christmas Child and this stuff. I do appreciate Charles, it. appreciate it. Y'all have a safe, safe Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. Absolutely, same to you. Merry Christmas to all you guys out there. I know it's November, but Merry Christmas. And until next time.